so when when you're watching this uh, Jenkins lecture I want that you should first uh, watch the Maven as well as the github lectures right because uh, most of the tasks that we are performing in Jenkins uh, we have uh, already covered those tasks uh, in github uh, like how we can configure github how we can push our code to the github and then how we can uh, manage our builds through maven so prior to watching this lecture you should be familiar with all the concepts of maven as well as github right so let it open and um, this is uh, one of my project right and uh, this web driver maven so i can give it a name as uh, web driver maven champions right and i can click on ok so once we click on ok uh, it will ask me for a description this is a uh, test Jenkins project right you can give any name to this description right and then you can choose your source code management tool that you'll be using like in, in my case I'll be using git so I need to give uh, the repository of git uh, it should be uh, a github repository let's see specify the URL of this remote repository so remote repository i need to go to my remote repository that is over here the one that we have created uh, when we were uh, studying the git lectures right so i want that you should go through the lecture third and fourth of uh, git github right so let it open It's taking so much of time. Just give me a moment. Okay. All right, so I'll go to github.com and I'll go to my uh, remote repository for git and here uh, I'll see my repository that uh, the repository that we have created this is the one that we have created web driver maven and uh, you can find the commits over here this is I was uh, actually doing some uh, test performing to make sure that Jenkins works fine so you might have you might see these uh, check-in comments over here right so what will what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna configure uh, the system for Jenkins so that whenever there are any changes uh, added to this project then it should be notified uh, to the Jenkins uh, continuous integration system and it will actually gonna uh, execute our test right it will build the test so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna copy this HTTPS part over here right make sure you copy the HTTPS part only just copy the entire thing and go back over here and paste this part over here right so once you paste it uh, just save it okay that's been saved again go back to configure this is saved next thing that you need to do uh, you need to trigger the build right builds can be triggered uh, in in various way build after the projects are built right build periodically let's say if i click this uh, you see jenkins provides the very best thing is the help along with uh, what we what feature that we are going to use right so you can uh, build it periodically after every minute after every hour after every month right they have provided all these syntaxes that you would be using over here right i'll not build it periodically in this example i'll just going to select all scm scm uh, 
stands for uh, that we have seen source code management right so whenever there are any changes to our source code management right uh, to our SCM uh, if there is any new thing added to the SCM or if there are any modification done in our existing code then only I want the build should be triggered right so if I click on this right again uh, uh, there are no schedules uh, right now so I need to perform or I need to create a schedule a schedule I'm gonna create uh, over here uh, with some symbols that are specified over here right symbols as in uh, this is actually if I say at the rate yearly this will be built uh, yearly if I if I say at the rate uh, early this will be built early right now if i say uh, there's something else uh, some operators like if i say star 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 five times right if i write it five times so it means uh, that it sh it should be built every minute every minute as in uh, whenever there is a new check-in to my uh, source code management uh, stuff right so whenever there is if, uh, new uh, any any changes are updated in my source code source code management, then this build will be triggered. Right. So I'm going to show you this how it will gonna trigger. So I'll apply this and then I'll go downwards, right, and add a build step. So I'll invoke the top level Maven targets. I'm gonna build it through Maven. So Maven, uh, I'm gonna give the goal as clean and package right so package will gonna if I write package if I call package over here it will gonna execute all the previous tasks that is uh, clean build test right it will gonna uh, compile the code and and do all the all the it will gonna execute the entire life cycle of maven right so these are the things that I have done and then I'll apply these changes over here right now my system is uh, configured uh, for continuous integration and let's say see it is uh, actually building something as soon as i perform this changes it is actually it has actually started building uh, the initial build so let's see uh, let's take a look at uh, the console output and let's see okay see maven uh, clean package it's it's running see the very first build is performing over here scanning for the project see all the maven tasks you will gonna find over here and it is actually it has actually picked up the web driver maven project and the test is being executed see running the login test the same test that we have uh, push, pushed to the remote repository with the help of git so it's running it and see uh, the browser being invoked over here see this is the browser and our test is running it's actually going to google and entered username this is the very first test and it is successfully passed there there are no failures right now let's uh, go back to our project and go back to the dashboard and you'll see uh, the build is successful right and uh, uh, the weather report shows uh, a sunny atmosphere over here sunny atmosphere means that the build is pretty stable right there are no failures if if you uh, if there are failures in the build then the weather report will gonna change you're gonna find the rainy season over here the thunder storms over here when there is more failures in the build right sunny uh, 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 like weather report uh, shows that the build is pretty stable there there are no failures right now this build is uh, i mean so far we haven't seen how this build will automatically uh, triggered whenever we made any changes to the code right now let's uh, forget about jenkins at this moment right and let's go back to our code this is our code and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make some changes to this code make some changes as in uh, I'll add some statement. Okay, added new comments. Right. I'll just save this and go back to my project and uh, open up the Git Bash. 
Now if you remember the get commands that we have seen, so I'll right click over here. This is already a git project, I'll open a git bash from here. This is my master branch, right? Because we already have a git associated over here. This is my git local repository. So very first thing I'll do git status. And you can see I've made changes to this file, so this is being tracked, right? Now I'll say git add src and I'll add the entire folder. I'll again do git status and see there this is the modified file which is ready to be commit. So I'll say git commit uh, hyphen m and my first Jenkins commit right and I'll press enter right so the changes are being commit and now we are ready to push this these changes uh, to the github uh, repository to the remote repository so how will we gonna do that I'll say git push I find you and I've given the local repository name as origin and then I'll say master so it will actually gonna push the master uh, whatever code that is there inside master repository whatever changes that are being made it will gonna push those changes to the uh, remote repository so as soon as I press enter it will gonna ask me for uh, the passphrase so I will give my passphrase over here and as soon as I press enter you can see it has gone to this if I refresh this my first Jenkins commit is there and it's here and if I go over here you're gonna see this commit over here right added new comment now let's wait for some time and we're gonna see whether our new build is being triggered or not right so right now nothing got triggered let's wait for a few seconds okay one build in queue see we got one build in queue okay there there it is and now let's see the console output okay it has actually started executing the test see automatically uh, as soon as it finds there are any changes to your remote repository it automatically configured uh, like execute your build your maven task see your build has been executing so whenever there are any changes it will gonna trigger your build whenever uh, a developer performs any check-in whenever he uploads the code push the code to the remote repository at the same time your regression build or your uh, bvt build will be executed whatever that you have configured through jenkins right so this is what is called your continuous integration system now let's say if i uh, intentionally make uh, made uh, this test a failure let's say i instead of this password i incorrect the x path right and i again push these changes uh, uh, to the remote repository i'll just uh, say my uh, first I need to add them so I'll add this and then I'll say my second Jenkins commit right and then I'll uh, push it to the master branch push this master branch to the remote I'll say R uh, all right and let's see in couple of seconds a new I'll go back to the project see the third one is in queue now and few seconds it will start building it okay the build has been started now if you go to the output see as soon as we perform checks in it actually automatically triggers the build and let's see this time test has been started right so the password information was incorrect and see there is a failure the build got failed there is a failure and 
if we go back over here uh, this is still in process so just wait for a couple more seconds and we'll go back to the project go back to the dashboard and you can see the weather report changes there are some clouds over here because our build was uh, build fail right if you if continuously the build keeps on failing then the weather will gonna change uh, to rainy season to thunderstorm if there are more build fails right so this weather report will actually gonna tell us how much stable our build is right so these things are basically uh, uh, like done with the help of this continuous integration system, right? It integrates our uh, GitHub task, our uh, Maven task, our ARN task, and there are many other plugins that can be integrated with Jenkins. And uh, this is how we're gonna perform our continuous integration, all right? Now let's uh, take a look at the PowerPoint presentation what we have seen so far. We've seen how we can configure uh, and install and run the Jenkins on our machine, right? And then we have opened up the Jenkins browser. Uh, Jenkins comes with a Java web archive, right? This is actually uh, a var file that we have seen, right? And uh, it, it it uses all other tools of the same server and make them to work together to automate the build process but before we build any process we need to configure jenkins so we have already seen uh, how we can configure jenkins Gen jenkins basically can uh, comes with more than 600 plugins that we can customize and configure in uh, the jenkins uh, war file right and uh, these are a couple of the steps that i've jotted down which uh, which will actually going to help you in uh, remembering all the steps that we have seen right so i'm going to forward you this powerpoint presentation you can go through this powerpoint presentation as well as the video lecture and you can try configuring uh, jenkins at your end and see how this continuous integration will going to work at your end right so this is all about jenkins and i hope you have enjoyed this module Alright, so thanks a lot. We're going to meet uh, in the next module. Thank you.